Hi, I'm Merrick Demand, and welcome back to Let's Play Telltale's Game of Thrones. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. But... I would. And God's willing, someday, I will. Mm -hmm. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... And I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. Oh, this will be a. Oh, I've been a waiting for the room. right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. Well, what is it? I assume you kept your word. Yes, sir. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Okay, cool. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the Why wall. Why would I? Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Those are the guys that go beyond the wall, I think. <sighs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. I think the, uh... I know you will is the answer to all of those. Garrett, wait! Oh, hello. What's your name? Talia? Be safe. Switching characters to... Ethan? Lord Ethan. Ethan! Ethan Forrester, Lord of House Forrester. We're this guy now. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like yeah, it. Fair enough. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise it's you. It's Game of Thrones. Nobody's safe. Especially I don't interesting want characters. to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. He won't get hurt. He got hurt by those White Hill men. 
They gave back as good as no they got. No one will tell me what Garrod did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Hey. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Huh. Cute kid. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. That is good for people, and you having infinite sweets is not good for you. Or anyone else. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Kind of puts what's uh, best for everyone before what you want to do sometimes when you're a, a leader. Damn, we're short. Hey, it's a guy we spared. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll. Hello, medieval Larry. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Yep, you're about I've been waiting for this day all my life. The foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. 
Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. Oh! You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Yes, you are. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's Bullcut Malfoy. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrett was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. Yes, so. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Soldiers died here. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! Who's the one who did it? You heard me. He was sent to the wall. It's done. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. Yep. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Considering your losses and all, but this, this is not over. Yes, it is. Get the it's fuck over out. when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. Mm -hmm. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. That could have gone better. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Hmm. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Now we get our third playable character. Your sister can help us. Although just Here a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Let's explore the room. Oh, gold brazier. 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 I can't pronounce that word. Like Massachusetts, it's one of those things that just don't. My mouth will not make work as a word. <laughs> Let's explore the Ironwood box. We 
at a uh, eye guarded. It was venue. very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Can't remember who that was. Ethan made this for me. Yunkish coin? Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Ooh, an unfinished letter. Let's read it. Let's see what we get. Father. Much excitement uh, here in King's father. Landing Go for the coming <laughs> wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Let's have a look at the dusty old tone. Wonders Made by Man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Yeah, rest in peace, Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. The wonders are Roderick, because Roderick's dead. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath no, today. No, will you find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. There's so few decent human beings in King's Landing, or in Game of Thrones, actually. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. Do what I can. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Run. One moment. Oh, sorry, oh. lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Not sure who I you can are. come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Guys, we're feeling cold in our uh, thing. Begging your pardon, lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? Uh, yes. I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Shh. Hey, Queen Cersei. Cersei. Redeemable bitch. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. Oh, House Forrester? Right. Doesn't bode well. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. Useful. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, Malay. I think we have an ally here. In the inevitable political maneuvering that this that a Game of Thrones game is likely to entail. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my lady. 
And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself uh, cornered me this morning outside the Royal cool. Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. Oh, she wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't oh, know, Cersei. but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Two more kings, guard. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Can I do whatever you want? We can do a be Cersei, I guess. Good luck. It's hard. It's gonna be hard not to be uh, not to well, try to scratch her filthy face off of her. Nothing against the actress. I'm sure she's a lovely woman, but she's so good at being a hateful, hateful bitch. Like the woman who played Dol uh, Dolores Umbridge in Harry Potter Five. Melvis Downton. Oh, we gotta walk it. Okay. You can do this. Not sure who these people are. Oh, there's uh, Cersei and one of the old ah, Lady Marjorie. Characters in the Aren't series. you looking lovely this evening, Lord Tyrion? Your Grace. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the King? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true King, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did name Joffrey as the one true King. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, saying nothing at all. Please don't make this more difficult than it needs to be on me, Tyrion. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. Mm -hmm. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. 
Our talent is unrivaled, Your Grace. Forrester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm told. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. That would be funny to watch. Well, can, it depends on how good a fighter she is. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? You could. Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. It's called politics. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Like you! Pretending to be something they're not. Like you, pretending to be human! Who knows what lurks within their hearts? The Shadow knows. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would... Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. Politics, politics, this is politics. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? Yeah. The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Fuck you. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I don't think that went well. I'll walk you out. Oh, thank you, Jerry. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once. At the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't trust Drews Bolton. I don't trust Drews Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty More to Joffrey sure. for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. You seem like Although Cersei seems seven quite Kingsguard. pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. You're a decent human being. She takes She's great pleasure in her little charades. Monster. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you hmm. and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Anything to piss Please. off, Cersei. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. I'm sorry you got saddled with Three beautiful space. bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. 
This is not the North. Obviously. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. And I think once we get the next save point, I'll conclude uh, this video for today. I'll see you all next time. Ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!